Namaste. So several of our viewers are now chanting Maha Shodashi Mantra, and I hope you're getting the same great results that I did, and still do. <laughs> but I want to share with you an advanced technique that adds a little pranayama, breath control, to chanting the mantra. And this works especially well when you're walking, which I do a lot. I'll go take a walk in a nice quiet place and chant my mantra silently according to the breath. So, first we have to talk a little bit about yogic breathing. Okay, yogic breathing is the opposite of uh, Western athletic breathing, which is mostly a chest breath. Yogic breathing starts in the belly. In other words, when you breathe in through the nose, the belly fills up first. And that this is to expand the low part of the lungs. Then the chest, and finally the throat, or thorax. And what it does is basically fills the lungs from the bottom up. And then there's what's called a bandha. Bandha means a lock. At the peak of the breath, when the lungs are completely full, you have to pause. It can be just for a second, but there's a pause when you're neither breathing in nor breathing out. And then you breathe out in the reverse order, the thorax, chest, and belly, until you get to the bottom and the lungs are completely empty. And then there's another pause, another bandhu. So this means there, there's a four-stage method, okay? The belly fills first, then the chest, then the throat, then stop. And then in reverse order, the throat empties first, then the chest, then, then the belly, and finally stop at the bottom with the lungs completely emptied. Okay, now I'm going to show you a chart. This is how it looks when the mantra and the breath are combined. We start from the beginning with the completely full lungs, all the way up to the top. And then we chant, Shring, Hring, Kling, Aing, Sao. And then there's a break. There's one syllable where there's no chanting. And at that point, the lungs should be completely empty. Then again, the second line, Aung, Hring, Shring. Instead of the Aung, you put your Atma Bija. Okay, everybody's is different. There's something like 22,000 possibilities. So you put your Atma Bija insert there. Mine is Ing. So I chant Ing, Hring, Shring. And take a breath, but it's not a completely full breath. It's just up to the thorac cavity. And then there's another break. And then Ka E I La Hring. And that's an exhale. Ha sa ka ha la ring. That's an inhale, not a complete one, but up to the throat. Sa ka la ring. And then that, that's an exhale. And then sao, ein, kling, ring, shring. And that's up to the throat. And then aung. Aung is three beats plus a half a beat, which is marked with an X where there's a complete stillness. The breath should be completely full. The lungs are completely full up to the top. And then there's one moment where there's no in-breath or out-breath. And that's where the X is there on the chart. So let's see how that looks in action. The next chart is going to have a highlight that shows each beat of the chant as it's done in proper matra, or rhythm. Shring, hring, kling, ein, sao. Aung, hring, shring. Ka, e, i, la, hring. 
Hasaka hala ring. Saka la ring. Sao ain kling kring shring. Aum. That last beat is the uh, visharga, uh, the nasal in at the end of Aum. Actually, all of the uh, bijas should end in this nasal sound. I know some people like to do it plain, like Aum, Hring, Sring, but that's not correct. If we look in the scriptures, the Sanskrit is quite clear. Aum, with a long tail at the end. Uh, Aum, and that takes three and a half beats. Aum. Okay, then the other bijas are one beat each, but they also end with the nasal M. Ing, shring, kling, ing, huh? except for sao, and that ends with anuswara, aha, uh -huh. sao. So these pronunciations are very important for the power of the mantra. And if you follow them and you do the mantra in time with your breath, the power is enhanced even more. And, you know, don't take my word for it. Try it and see. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments because this is a little bit tricky, okay? I tried to show how it's done um, in rhythm but uh, you still might not be able to get it. So if there's any problem, let me know. Aum Tatsa. Aum Shakti Aum.